I've said it before, and I'll say it again, bringing a new car to market is an expensive business. Not only is there the matter of research, development, and homologation, something which can cost millions of dollars before a single car rolls off the production line, but there are also a great deal of costs associated with modifying production line equipment for the new model, training staff, and setting up supply chains. And of course, all of that has to be paid for before the automaker can start to reap the profits associated with the new car. Established automakers have plenty of ways of funding these costs, but most usually write them off against any profit made from selling other models. But Tesla, whose yearly vehicular output is a fraction of the number of automotive giants like Ford, General Motors, Toyota, and Volkswagen produce, doesn't make enough yet to offset the cost of bringing the Model 3 to market against sales of Model S or Model X. Which is why it's just announced its intention to raise 1.5 billion US dollars of the anticipated 2 billion US dollars it expects to spend in the second half of this year on Model 3 production ramp up by issuing CNA notes. Or to put it another way, it's selling off some of its debts to ensure it has enough money to continue to ramp up Model 3 production. It's the latest in a long line of methods Tesla's used to raise extra capital. But what is a senior note, and why is Tesla offering them rather than raising money some other way? Now, before I go any further, I should do my usual disclaimer. I'm an automotive YouTuber, not a financial expert. So what you're going to hear next is my take on what these terms mean as a layperson. As always, if you're going to make an investment, you should be talking to a qualified professional, not listening to some British chick with a YouTube channel. For everyone else, though, you can treat what's next as a basic explanation of what's going on with Tesla's senior note issuance. Simply put, a senior note is essentially a bond, sometimes called a debt security, that's issued by a company to an investor in exchange for a cash injection, with the investor essentially helping the company turn its debt into cash. In exchange, the investor hopes, assuming everything goes well and the company does well, that they will receive their investment back in the future, plus a percentage return on their investment for their time and money. So far, so good. But unlike a regular convertible note, which can be exchanged for shares at some point in the future and are also relatively short term, senior notes are longer term investments that mature a lot more slowly, anything up to 10 years. And while some can be converted to shares, it's not clear if Tesla's senior notes will be converted at this point. The senior notes are most certainly something that are not for those looking to get rich quick, which is why many senior notes end up with retirement funds or other long term financial pools. Importantly, too, while senior notes do not guarantee that the investor will get back all of their money, the holder of these notes is given priority over holders of other notes or unsecured investments should that company go bankrupt. And while regular unsecured notes generally pay a higher rate of interest to compensate for the extra risk, senior notes are viewed as a far less risky investment over the long term. Now to the next part. Why is Tesla offering senior notes rather than getting its investment from elsewhere? Simply put, while Tesla already has a major asset-backed credit line with some major financial institutions, and it's of course raised funds by issuing further shares, senior notes allow Tesla to get a quick cash injection, but then have to wait some time before having to worry about paying that investment back. And given Tesla has nearly half a million Model 3 reservations on its books right now, the figure was about 455,000 net a week or so ago, it makes sense to seek investment in this way, because all those reservations should help Tesla not only get a return on its Model 3 investment to date, but also get the company back into the black. But to avoid the need to do this again in the near future, Tesla using senior notes with a long-term maturity should allow it the flexibility of building up its profits at the same time as it prepares to pay back its investors. It's a kind of a win-win scenario. And given Tesla expects this cash injection, which will help it reach production volumes of half a million cars per year, will increase its revenues to 20 billion US dollars per year, it's no surprise that Tesla's making this move. The old maxim that you need to speculate to accumulate, you need to spend money to make money, is most certainly true here. And I, for one, hope it works out, because the more plug-in cars on the road, the better. And while I frankly don't care if those cars are Teslas, Nissans, Chevrolets, or some brand we've not even heard of, I think Tesla is making steps in the right direction. But without that investment, it won't be able to do anything. And while Tesla could have taken things a lot more slowly, 
building up its business over a much longer period and thus borrowing less money, I think Musk's urgency here is appropriate. The transition to renewable energy needs to happen now, not in 10, 20 or 50 years time. That's it. As always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, hit that notification bar and click the Patreon link at the end of this video if you want to help me make more of these videos. Until next time, keep evolving.